Hello, I'm Rick Marks, and we're going to show you the motion controller demo that we showed at E3 with a few little extra add-ons. And we're going to show it in some more depth now that we have more time to talk about it. So here's our latest uh, uh, prototype of our motion controller. Still not the final design, but getting closer. And we're showing, uh, again, I can, you can see video of me coming from the PlayStation Eye. PlayStation Eye is just set by the TV. Should be kind of roughly torso height. Doesn't matter exactly. The system kind of can deal with that. And then I can uh, switch into virtual mode, and you can see the controller move one-to-one -one with my motion in the video there. You see me in the video, so you can see that it does what I do. And if we zoom in a little bit closer here, I can actually show you even more one-to-one. -one. You can see the video better and my motion better. So again, zoom in, zoom out. It's in 3D. So we get all the different rotation angles. You can see I'll have to show you the twist by going really slowly here. But all the different rotations and the X, Y, Z position. And these are the kind of things we didn't get to go into as, in as much detail during the E3 demo. I can switch to a different object. So now I'll switch to like a tennis racket. And now you see the virtual tennis racket moves when I move the controller. And if I switch into a video view, because we have video of the player, we can actually overlay graphics onto the video. And because the, the object actually is being tracked by the camera, the way we overlay the, the video is perfect because it's using the video information for the tracking. So everything matches up perfect. That's why the tennis racket stays in the video just like that. Then uh, another really neat thing about our system is it's an absolute tracking system. So I'm going to switch back to this mode. But you can see uh, when, I, when I track, the, the, if I push the button here, a ball will come up out of the floor in the virtual space. Well, that exactly maps to a real place in the real world. And so every time I push that button, it's going to come up out of this place in my living room, for example. And you can switch to a different object. I'll get to the baseball bat, which is more my game. Oh, no problem. And so we had a mode in there for E3 that Anton forgot about, which is a reduced gravity mode. So you could get yourself a meatball and, you know, <laughs> hit it. And when, this one's kind of neat, too, if you switch into this mode. Then it's like first-person mode. And when I hit it, oh, <laughs> foul tip. Here we have the stop sign we just wanted to show, because in the virtual world, you see how it says stop, and it's readable. But when you switch to the camera view, it's a reflection of me, kind of. So the stop sign is reversed. No, kind of subtle thing. And that one actually can use, be used to hit the ball with, too. We have a very large sword, which all games should have. <laughs> and uh, this is kind of a throwback to an old demo we did with tracking with the ball and a chain. So the, the ball kind of has this mass. And here we can shine. That's where we're going to do some drawing later. Some painting over there. 